historically, young people have not necessarily been interested in matters of the state. But I think they are now because of some of the prevailing conditions in society. Of course, um, I believe they are hungry, fundamentally. And, um, but then if you look at it, um, the political class has failed the youth. So let's, if you go to um, the Arab Spring, for example, as late as uh, sometime in uh, December 2010, there was what we call the um, Yasmin Revolution in Tunisia, which gave rise to the Arab Spring, you know, sort of the pro-democracy uprisings in Tunisia, Libya, Egypt, and Morocco. And so if you look at the role of the youth over there, they were tired about the corruption, the lack of education and the opportunities, the underemployment and unemployment over there. So that gave rise to that. So at the activism you see today is a function of the societal problems that we see. I don't think it's necessarily an interest in matters of the state, but then it's because they're hungry, so they obviously want to call for some change within society. Social media, he says, has created a huge platform of influence for these young activists to sustain their campaign. Anyone can go on social media now because they have a phone, they have a tablet, they have a smartphone. So they go on there, they put something on there and then they make some noise.